Hello, my beautiful Capricorn. I cannot wait to get into your June reading. I'm Prairie Vintage. My name is Linda. I'm an energy intuitive reader here on YouTube. I use spirit, my intuition, the tarot to communicate energy frequency to you, the beautiful Capricorn. And we will be looking at your month of June, 2023. So you could be Capricorn, sun, moon, or rising, um, or just cross watching for your favorite Capricorn person. So we will start off by thanking spirit. Thank you so much spirit for allowing me to tap into the energy of Capricorn and for a clear and concise message for the greatest good of Capricorn. And thank you so much for allowing me to tap into your beautiful energy and the energy around you. So I'm asking spirit for what energies do you need to embrace or integrate into the month of June? All right. So you got mystical sister. Hmm, mystical sister, what you need to embrace. So this card talks about having that one friend or that one person who's like our soul person, okay? Um, somebody who we can rely on, who kind of is always there, kind of inspiring us and helping us along the way. It doesn't have to be a person if we are in touch with our, our spirit guide, but this one's usually a person. Um, you know, it could be a friend, could be a best friend, a soulmate, um, you know, I am seeing a flame there, so it could be a twin flame, somebody who inspires and ignites us to be the highest version of ourself. In this case, I'm getting there, you know, this looks like a butterfly. Butterflies could mean two things, could be all about freedom and being free to be ourselves. Um, and it's also transformation. So maybe we're being inspired to transform ourselves from a certain way and being inspired from within to do that, you know, and being supported um, in a very, um, I was gonna say gentle, but yeah, like in a, in a, in an environment or with our soul family that allows for this transformation that supports, supports it and doesn't judge us. So I feel like, yeah, this is a really beautiful card, this mystical sister. Okay. It could even be a sibling or a spouse or somebody here who's just kind of guiding us through our own personal journey. So we might be going through like a spiritual awakening or some challenges where, where we're wanting to transform ourselves or just going through some sort of transformation, whether we want to or not, but we have that support there. And I do feel like with the flame, it's something about inspired change or being inspired to do it or somebody who inspires you. I feel like there's support here too. This is a beautiful energy I'm really feeling from around you while you're going through some sort of transformation. So we'll see how that ties in. I mean, I got a lot from that card and generally I like to tie it into your reading. So we'll ask Spirit for a clear and concise message for your overall for June, 2023. I was gonna say 2025, wow. I'm going into the future two years, but let's see. So that's the energy that um, Spirit wants you to embrace. So either you're needing to embrace being that sort of guiding light or just embrace the fact that you have this and let this in, you know, like don't shut people out if you're going through a transformation, like you have a soul family there waiting to support you um, or you can be that mystical sister, you know, and because it's mystical too, I do feel like it's somebody with intuition, maybe somebody psychic, maybe somebody who has some unspoken knowings. Uh, I also feel like it's somebody who's in touch with their dreams and maybe you have dreams about this person or they're able to tap into you through their dreams. Some, some unspoken energy I feel here. Um, that's really interesting. Let's pull three cards for your overall for June. June for Capricorn. We have seven of cups. We have the ten of swords in reverse and we have the magician in reverse. I just keep getting the ten of swords every time I do your reading. This is the longest drawn out ending I've ever seen. All right, so let's see, poor Capricorn, um, what you don't see coming, hidden energies for Capricorn, what they don't see coming, what's hidden. We have the four of swords in reverse, the page of swords in reverse, and the eight of wands in reverse. All right, we'll get clarifiers and uh, go through them in a bit, but we'll just lay all the cards out. So advice and guidance from spirits. What is the advice and guidance from spirit for June? We have the stars, we have the queen of wands, and we have the knight of pentacles in reverse. All right, what's your opportunity for June, Capricorn? Your opportunity is temperance, beautiful. And what is your challenge in June? 
challenge for Capricorn is the Five of Swords in reverse. Yukes. Okay, so overall energy, Seven of Cups, Ten of Swords in reverse, Magician in reverse for overall energy. And like I said, we'll get clarifiers after. We kind of go over it once and see what we can pull. Um, Seven of Cups. I mean, this is like, you know, having fantasies, but we're, uh, we're clouded. We're not quite, quite clear. And we might be overwhelmed by too many options and not which sure, which, sure which way to go, right? Like too many options. We're unclear. Uh, we might have our head in the clouds. We might be fantasizing about something and keeping it in fantasy. I was picking up something about dreams here too, with this mystical sister. So maybe just allowing yourself to dream of the possibilities maybe here um okay but i feel like there's something about being clouded or uncertain and the fact that you have the ten of swords in reverse this is like an ending a painful ending that either has happened but it, you didn't get closure so you're confused about this or you're confused um, about putting something to an end or why something's come to an end without closure something about you're not sure and you're not sure what to do here as far as having lots of choices it could go either which way um something ended or needs to end here but if it did end there's no closure um yeah and i do feel like it is pretty painful and almost more painful than a ten of swords is a ten of swords in reverse sometimes i mean sometimes it can mean it's not as bad as we anticipated but in this case i'm feeling like it's it is not good because i think it leaves you in a state of limbo or it leaves you in a state of confusion like it's not quite over but it's over that's kind of what i'm getting and then with the magician here um and it is in reverse magician is all about manifestation so uh, as above so below we're able to bring from you know um the ethers what we want to manifest here by believing and bringing it with intention into reality and making things happen and having all the tools to do so in reverse it's either we don't feel like we have the tools we're not manifesting what we want because we're completely confused head in clouds not quite sure if it's a reality confusion makes us not manifest right because in order to manifest we have to be very clear in what we want if we're not then you don't manifest but this can also be the manipulative card, you know, trying to control things in a way. Um, yeah, trying to control things in a way. And maybe we wanted to control things in a way about an ending where we didn't quite manifest what we wanted. So an ending happened and now it's like we're in the confusion about it because we need closure. But, you know, um, and you might feel like you don't have any control or no tools here to manage with this. Magician is also Mercury, which is Gemini, Virgo energy, and the Magician is about timing. So maybe something about timing didn't work or the timing was off or something about time, the right time, or I'm feeling like maybe we were in confusion and we didn't make the right choice because we were keeping all our options open. And I feel like there's an ending here or some sort of an ending that happened because of the time it took or it didn't happen in time or something like that. Okay, so we'll get clarifiers, but just kind of take what's fitting into your situation here. And like I say, you could flip roles, but I feel like with the mystical sister, I feel like an ending here that's painful, you know, there is some sort of it's supposed to light a fire under a transformation. And I do feel like you're this butterfly. So maybe this is like inspiring you to have some sort of transformation or where you were clouded and undecided. Maybe you're like, have this like burning desire to change things in a way um but in your what you don't see coming or hidden i see the four of swords in reverse the page of swords in reverse and the eight of wands in reverse so what you don't see coming all in reverse well the four of swords in reverse is like either coming out of a state where we had time to reflect or we're needing to go and reflect and heal but we're, we haven't done it yet. We haven't healed. We haven't gone in. We haven't reflected. We haven't taken a pause. So maybe this Ten of Swords happened a while ago, which is why it's still in reverse. So an ending happened, but you're still hanging on to it because it's not quite closed out. So I don't feel like you fully went inwards to reflect and to really 
take a look at the situation and I don't feel like you're fully healed from this. And the Knight of Swords, you know, could be somebody who is um, challenging here or snooping on somebody's social media or like asking people about, you know, your situation or you kind of underhandedly snooping around here or something. But um, the Page of Swords in reverse... I feel like what I'm really getting from this is a need to start a conversation that would help in our healing, either with our, within ourselves, start kind of going down that mental path, because the page is all about beginning, like starting off. So starting off having those thoughts or starting to question these things that we might have not have started. So we haven't started our healing journey because we're not having communication. We're not having a breakthrough here with the Eight of Wands in reverse. Okay, because Eight of Wands upright, this is a breakthrough, this is communication, forward movement, things getting shaken up so that things can move forward. And with this, this is a block. This is, you know, maybe being stuck in the same situation where we were confused, where we were muddled, things aren't moving because we're not communicating. Not communicating, not communicating equals needing to heal, needing to reflect because there's no communication, there's no forward movement. And that's what we don't see. You know, or don't see coming here as we can control this and maybe we're being a little underhanded here or immature. Um, again, take it as it resonates. Could be the other party here, but I feel like there's something here that needs communication in order for there to be movement and a breakthrough that doesn't quite happen because I feel like maybe you're needing to transform or you're needing to be inspired to move. You're being inspired to be this eight of wands, take forward movements, you know, but it's in this eight of wands in reverse. So... Before we get into your advice, guidance from spirit, let's take a look at your opportunity. So your opportunity here is temperance, which is healing. So you have an opportunity here to temper the situation and to show up and bring the right amount of stuff to have an equal flow of energy, okay? Because the temperance provides a certain amount of ingredients and then your environment provides the other in order to have this nice flow and bring peace to a situation here. Um, so I think that's your opportunity is if you're not showing up to be able to bring in the right amount of stuff so you can alchemize a situation is your opportunity or if you are showing up and bringing the right amount of stuff there's an opportunity for you to have this in your environment and which is going to be healing for you because this is a healing card this is a healing card this is in reverse and what you don't see coming you know and this is an opportunity so it's like what you don't see coming is maybe you don't take the chance, the, the, the chance to heal. Maybe you don't take the opportunity to heal because that's your opportunity. The opportunity is to heal, to bring healing waters to the circumstance here. But we don't take that opportunity. We don't reflect. We don't communicate, you know, and, and therefore we don't cause, we don't have closure or we still sit, sit in pain here. So we can't manifest something or confused about it. Um... All right, so challenge is the Five of Swords in reverse. And the Five of Swords is where nobody wins because it's not what anybody wanted and it just caused conflict and challenge. But in reverse, it's like either, because this is the challenge, sitting in your challenge position, it's either you um, are now needing to deal with the aftermath of where nobody won in the five of swords so this has already happened so it's not how do i deal with it how do i go back to a situation here where it was five of swords and i think that's mostly it because look at this five of swords we have the five up here five swords and then this is the only five of swords i've seen with another five swords at the bottom one two three four five so now you got ten plus she's holding on to two swords here so that's like 12 swords so i think this was a really painful ending for you um even though this isn't an ending card, Ten of Swords is ending, you know, and we are seeing the Ten of Swords in your overall energy in reverse. So something about it not quite ending because this is an ending, painful ending. It's ended. Move on. This is something's ended, but it hasn't quite had its closure. We haven't quite finalized the ending. And this to me is giving me ending because I see Ten of Swords, but it's not quite the ending because it's a Five of Swords. So something about something coming to an end but not an end or needing to come to an end or needing to face an end the fact that it's reverse and it's your challenge i think it's you needing to deal with the situation here that is challenging and i think the way you need to deal with it is you know bringing in the right amount of stuff to alchemize something here that brings in healing by communicating some something here 
you know, and maybe this is the transformation here, or I don't know, maybe, um, what's it called? Like allowing people who support you to support you. Maybe, um, you know, like if you feel like you want to communicate something here, like talk to your friend who you trust. This is kind of what I'm getting. Like talk to somebody who can inspire you in a way that you trust. Um, okay, so your advice here from Spirit. We have the stars, the queen of wands, and the knight of pentacles in reverse. So guidance and advice from Spirit. Well, the stars is... Also about healing. Same with temperance, okay? These are both healing. Same with the Four of Swords. I think there's some sort of healing here, okay? And maybe this is the transformation we're needing, but the stars is also about, um, you know, having one's wish. This is going after our desires and what we want. And sometimes the stars are like unattainable because they're at a distance and it seems like something you can't quite grasp and bring into your reality. So maybe you just feel like there's something here because it's over or not over or ending or should be ended because we can't quite grasp. And maybe that's why we're all confused here with the seven of cups. It's like we aren't quite sure how to bring in our star, our desire, our hope. We might feel like we can't manifest that, you know, and we're not manifesting our desire, our hope, our wish, our wish coming true here. And so Spirit's saying there's a wish here. There's a desire. There's something here. Um, and I feel like it could very well be this Queen of Wands um, because I don't feel this is your energy. And this Queen of Wands is Aries Leo Sagittarius energy. Doesn't have to be. Could just be in the birth chart. Um, and it is someone we're attracted to. This is somebody who is passionate and who you find absolutely beautiful and you're really attracted to. Um, and I feel like maybe this is, you know, your hope or you're wanting to bring in, bring this in. Um, but I feel like you might be showing up as this knight of pentacles. Pentacles is earth energy. This is certainly your energy. And I just feel like whatever was really, really slow here, because we had our we couldn't decide or we had too many options so we weren't making we we're leaving all our options open and not deciding moving slow with our offer moving slow in in our dedication although we were very dedicated we were moving slowly to get from point a to point z this is now in reverse so this is like coming to a stop a standstill no longer moving forward so spirit is saying this in your advice, like I see here, a uh, hope, a wish come true, bringing in your hopes, you know, because the Queen of Wands, she knows how to use the law of attraction to bring things to her. Um, it doesn't have to be slow. It doesn't have to be stopped here. I feel like you could probably still bring in what you want here is what I'm getting from spirit, but maybe not in the way that you've been going about it. I mean, this is a pretty good card when it comes to an offer because it's a solid offer and it's a dedicated night. But he's just not moving, you know. And again, the magician was talking about timing and the fact that it's reversed. It's like the time is not working here. You know, this is stopped. And this is timing is doesn't work. This is too slow. So either stopped or slow, the timing is off and doesn't work. So, yeah. And the queen of wands, like when you bring in something, it's like quick energy. All these wands. And even in your, what you don't see coming, your wands. This is like one of the quickest cards, the eight of wands. This is also in reverse. So maybe you don't see how timing impacted something here. And maybe something came to an end because it took too long to decide. It took too long to conclude. It took too long to get clear. It took too long for you to manifest, manifest. Okay, and then heal, heal, heal. Maybe we didn't trust. Confide, that's the word I was looking for. Confide in somebody you trust. Confide in a soul sister here and this is the mystical sister but yeah confide in something maybe it even means consult the cards and that's what you're doing you're consulting the cards here right because mystical sister you're confiding in somebody who's providing you some sort of advice here i mean i'm not your mystical sister or maybe i am <laughs> but you know somebody here who's gonna you can trust that's going to guide you inspire you for your transformation and i really feel like your transformation is from going to head and clouds not sure muddled thinking too many options, not deciding, to a more pointed eight of wands, communication, manifest what you want, be clear, have this communication, you know, in order to heal and bring in the right amount of ingredients so you can alchemize and temper a situation, which is your opportunity, by the way, or spirit saying that's your opportunity. All right, so 
let's get clarifiers here because that's what I picked up initially. So can we get a clarifier here for the Seven of Cups, Ten of Swords in reverse, and the Magician in reverse? Lovers in reverse. Yeah, so that's, again, you know, this is an ending, but not quite. Like I said, something maybe came to an end, but we're not over it. We need closure or something needs to end and we're not quite letting go of it or it isn't as painful as we thought it'd be this ending that you know is looks like it'd be painful take it however it resonates but i'm thinking this is something that's ended because of timing or you not deciding and and it's ended because lovers in reverse is the end of a uh, an option the end of the opportunity to chase up someone we love or an option that we love because the lovers is like deciding between going after someone we love and not those are two choices or chasing up on our you know our career that we love our passion that we love and a person or chasing up two people but deciding between two people it's like a choice it's a decision but i feel within in reverse it's like it's taken away or it's ended it's no longer you know no longer or at least it appears like it's no longer um, so yeah, this is Gemini energy here again, because we said the magician is Gemini Virgo with the Mercury here, and that's also communication. Okay. So communication and then two of communications here. So, um, yeah, so that was clarifying that. So yeah, I think you needed to get clear with the seven of cups. You were confused. Maybe you weren't choosing. You had lots of options, but that's a need to choose wisely because you could choose a dud. You could choose pain. You could choose from a bunch of different things really and maybe you didn't really choose or you weren't prioritizing um so i feel like the choice got taken away from you and even with the magician in reverse you're no longer feel like you're in a state where you can manifest what you want because it was taken away from you the choice was ended the choice has ended the choice is coming to an end um all right so let's take a look at what you don't see coming or at least the um hidden energies here for Capricorn, almost a Gemini, for Capricorn here, Spirit, what do they not see coming? What's the hidden energy? Clarifying the Four of Swords Reverse, Page of Swords Reverse, and the Eight of Swords Reverse, Justice. Yeah, so this is like divine intervention in some way bringing justice to a situation here that maybe you didn't see coming um, or you didn't don't see it in this way that it's justice being served that's bringing balance like this is a balance card this is bringing in the right amount of ingredients to alchemize a situation and a balance give and take to heal a situation balance right here okay uh, right there with the scales so it's like things need to be balanced wherever things were unjust you know and maybe if we were in this state and you know spirit was wanting you to make the right decision wanting you to get pointed and clear and we just kept being confused or kept daydreaming or not deciding not manifesting not clear something got removed in order to bring injustice and balance to a situation so i feel like there's a need to heal there's a need for communication this is also libra okay this can also be marriage take it as you will this can also be third party with the two people with that guy's deciding between two girls okay and maybe that's this not sure which girl to choose so then the justice came in with the hammer so uh and maybe we lost both options here because we didn't decide i don't know i'm just guessing so before i get a clarifier for the guidance i'm gonna get um a clarifier for temperance the page of cups yeah so page page of cups is us with our innocence uh first step of being communicating again communication coming out for the fifth time uh, the stirrings of our heart, how we're really feeling. This is also apologies, okay? And the Page of Cups is the androgynous card, like not sure if it's a guy or a girl type card, but it's somebody who is creative, somebody who could be quite immature or inexperienced in heart matters, right? So um, it isn't like an innocent love here, but I feel like in order to bring healing um, to a situation, our opportunity is to bring healing and balance is to maybe apologize or extend a cup of love or at least crack open the tiny door of our heart to let love in um, or let love out whichever way in order for there to start being healing and balance that's our opportunity okay communication now let's see your challenge again is that five of swords slash ten of swords slash twelve of swords i don't know why there's two swords 
Oh my God, you guys, it just hit me. Five of Swords, challenging situation, right? Nobody wins. People aren't showing up because situations are just violent or argumentative or just blah. So they're not showing up in their best self. And I converted this to a 10 of swords because I see the other swords down there, right? So an ending, which we see clearly an ending here of swords. But the other two swords, I couldn't quite put what they were. It's an indecision because the two of swords is indecision, an inability to act. We didn't act, okay, in your challenge. You didn't act because you were confused and you had too many choices. You had to make a choice. I feel like justice came in because you didn't communicate and therefore now we have that as the challenge is that you were indecisive and this has been repeating on and on for the last i don't know however many readings but i mean there's only so much you can't be you can be indecisive before you know it just eventually we stop reading this i just this is the longest freaking ending <laughs> i've ever experienced in my life wow okay so anyway Clarifying this freaking five of swords in reverse, we have the four of wands upright and the strength in reverse. So, Capricorn. Let me have my coffee. Oh my God, this reading. It's going to be the death of me. So, five of swords, challenge. We were indecisive, okay? And I feel like we didn't step into our courage because strength in reverse is where we're needing to face our fear and get courageous. And the strength card talks about removing our ego in order to ride through a situation in grace, okay? To get through, to face our fear in the face, okay? Um, this is not doing that. This is not being courageous. And I feel like it's not being courageous in bringing together a situation which could be victorious with the four of wands this is coming together to build home to build a, a solid foundation this is commitment this is eating cake at the cake table with you and i okay but you can't eat cake at the cake table with you and i when you're acting like this so or other people are acting like this but that's the challenge here is people are acting like this so there is no none of this there's no celebration there is no you know, no coming together here. And because this is the challenge, it's like the challenge is how do I commit? How do I come together? How do I bring unity here when I was in a challenging situation where people were just combative and you're now challenged here with where do you find your strength? You know, how do you be courageous enough to put aside maybe your ego here? Um, like I said, crisscross energies, if it's not you, then it's somebody else here, you know, and that's Leo energy. Um, so we have Sagittarius, we have Leo, we have Libra, we have Gemini and Libra, or sorry, Gemini and Virgo, and then we have more Gemini, and then we have Aquarius. Okay, this will just be prominent in the birth charts here. So we're going to ask for a clarifier on the, on the advice, because we got the stars, the queen of wands, and the knight of pentacles. We have the three of wands. This is waiting for our ships to come in, looking to the horizon for the future, what we want for the future, where we want to go, where we want to guide the ships. It's like we lay the foundation in order to get on that ship. And we've decided kind of which way we want to go because, you know, we already picked the wand here. Um, we might be turning our back on a situation here in which it didn't work in order to go look for the future horizons. Like, where do you want to focus? Um... Yeah, I mean, it's upright, so you're looking to the horizon. Um, and because this is clarifying the stars, the queen of wands, and the knight of pentacles in reverse, you're looking at the horizon of, I guess, an outcome here. Um, and because this is guidance from spirit, I think spirit's wanting you to look for what you want for the future. You know, that whatever actions that you take, is really going to take you down wherever you're planning and wanting to go because you do have hopes and wishes here with the stars like there's something you desire you know and i feel like you're really drawn to it like a magnet because we have the queen of wands but i don't feel there's any movement here i feel this is stagnant so it's like maybe you're waiting around you know you're waiting for your ship to come in uh, but not not having that breakthrough not having that communication and what you don't see coming is justice comes in and takes care of it. And maybe you're waiting for a ship that never comes in. 
unfortunately. I'm going to pull another one because that sounds really sad, but it's like you're waiting or looking to the horizon for something here, but I mean, it's not going to magically appear, maybe. Spirit, why do we have this here as guidance? Poor Capricorn. Yeah, exactly that. You know, the Six of Pentacles in reverse. This is like a situation in which, okay, I'm getting multiple things. So if you're in a situation where you've been giving, 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 and you're still waiting for your ship to come in, it's not coming in. Uh, I mean, it's upright, so it means ship's coming in. But I feel like the advice from Spirit is that, you know, whatever was going on here, whatever you're trying to pull in, there was no movement on, and you're waiting here for your ship to come in. Um, this is in reverse. So it's like it, it, it didn't, whatever you're expecting wasn't coming back. Um, and if you weren't giving, 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 it's like you, maybe you have to rejig a situation where you weren't laying your foundation for your ship to know where to come in because you were stagnant and stopped. Um, so I do feel that there needed to be some sort of a communication and honesty in order to bring and alchemize a situation here to bring in healing and the right amount of stuff, like, yeah, opening hearts or at least the beginning of that, or like an apology. I feel like there's an apology owed somehow. I mean, if you don't owe anyone an apology, then maybe you were waiting around for an apology that never really came. But I feel like this is the imbalance card. This is like things not being give and take. This is not equal distribution of energy. This is one side giving, you know, and what you don't see coming is this card, meaning the exact same thing is it's going to provide the balance because that's what destiny does it provides balance where there's an imbalance so spirit is saying something was imbalanced this is your guidance wherever there's imbalance it's going to get balanced one way or another so if you're on the right side of justice then nothing to worry about if you're on the right side of karma but if you're not then the in, you know if it's imbalanced is just it's going to have to balance itself out um this is also breadcrumbing card for me okay so maybe there was breadcrumbing maybe somebody was breadcrumbing you and you're waiting around um, or maybe you were breadcrumbing someone here by not being completely open and honest with your communication, showing up. That's your opportunity to do so before justice takes, takes, yeah, takes the truth into her own hands to bring justice here. So I feel like there's a mystical sister here. We got to tie it back in, um, because this is a long reading. So if you're feeling like you trust somebody here, this is what spirit wants you to embrace. Get inspired into transforming what needs to transform. This is also could be the Ace of Wands, which is about communication. It's also having inspired action and acting from a place that we're inspired to do so, getting, um, following what excites us, you know, being able to trust in a, our soul family here to guide us and that we're able to confide in because this is someone we can trust. Okay, so this is what I have for you guys. Beautiful Capricorn. I hope I wasn't too hard on you. Um, like I said, you can crisscross. Let's just blame it on the other guy. All right. So love seeing you here today. Don't forget to check out your sun, moon rising, and I will see you soon. Bye.